All right, welcome again to mrcross.org and another training tutorial video in Microsoft Office 2010. Today we're going to look at page formatting and how you can enhance the look of the page. Now, this page is great right now and it might print off pretty nice, but what if I want to maybe add a border or something like that? Well, we're gonna go to page layout for that and you can see in page layout we have all kinds of different options. There are themes that are pre-built into uh, Microsoft Office and when you click a theme it's going to change the style of your font and other things. There are um, there are also uh, colors, fonts, and effects that you can apply. You can change the margins of your page under the page layout. This is very important because if you're doing a research paper most of the margins are one inch all the way around. So you'll need to know where this is. The orientation. There are two options for this. Portrait and landscape. Landscape is the wide page and portrait is going to be your tall and skinny page. Um, again, depends on what type of paper you're using. Um, maybe you have a very large format printer. You can actually change the printer or you're using an envelope. You can do that in size. Columns, this is where you can actually divide your paper into more columns. So you can have a one, two, or a three column page, or three column paper pretty easily by just clicking on columns. And I gotta say in 2010, this works a lot better than it had in 2003 or um, you know previous versions. Um, breaks and line numbers, these are all things that again, enhance your page, watermark, not gonna really cover too much of that, but what the watermark is designed to do is, is um, place some sort of an image over top, like confidential, and you can see it real light here, you may not be able to see it in the video, but the idea is that um, when that prints, people know that that is some sort of a confidential, or it's a uh, maybe not to be copied, or whatever the case may be, you may use that in there. Um, page color, you can actually change the color of the page. So now we can see my confidential a little brighter there because we changed the color of the page. Page borders, this is a pretty handy little thing. We can do boxes, shadow, 3D. We can change the style of the line. So I'm gonna pick a line here. And we can change, um, we can even make it art. So we can make it apples that go all the way around the page, for instance. Now this works a lot like uh, formatting in Excel would. I can tell it if I want it the top to be, have it, just maybe the bottom, maybe just the sides. So by clicking and unclicking these little boxes, I'm determining where my border will be. If I want to apply it to the whole document or I can apply it to a section of a document. I'm just going to apply it to the whole document. Check out what happens. Sweet. So now I've got a bunch of apples around my page. I've, I've managed to clutter up my document pretty easily. Um, we're going to talk about indentation and spacing a little bit later in a later message, so I'm not going to go through that too much here. But I want you to know that the page layout tool is available to you. Um, you're going to need to use it for margin and orientation all of the time. So make sure you get familiar with it, and I hope this helped you out.